Well, Sean, congratulations. A very accomplished performance there. They fully deserve three points. You must be delighted. I am delighted. Yeah, it's a tough place to come. And we knew that after Notts County's loss on Saturday that they'd want to respond. But I felt that we um, really dictated the night, especially in the first half. I thought the performance in the first half was outstanding. You know, the, um, that's the way that I'd like us to play. You can't every week, of course you can't. But we found a different way in the second half to affect the game. And when Notts County was throwing balls in the box, you know, we defended, you know, pretty resolutely. And it's as pleasing to get, a, you know, a, a clean sheet as it is to get the three points. Touched upon the response of Notts County. You look at your own response, given the sickening way you lost on Saturday afternoon. The response from the players there to bounce back at the the earliest possible opportunities. It must be very pleasing. Well, it was a big night for both clubs. You know, it was a big night for Notts, and it was for Cambridge United as well. I'm pleased that we've got the three points, of course I am. But I'm ever so pleased in the manner of which we got the three points. I thought the way that we um, you know, we were rotated at certain times in the game is something that we've worked on, we've put into practice tonight. Like I've said, you're not going to do that every week. You have to find many ways of winning football matches. But I thought we played well on Saturday and lost. I, f you know, I feel we've got to just desserts tonight. You're talking about the first half performance. At a number of occasions you carved, them, carved Notts County open with some free-flowing football, epitomised by a good goal, finished off by Colin Newton. It was a great goal, fantastic goal. You know, when we've opened them up as well, ten minutes earlier than that, where, you know, of all players, Greg Taylor's found himself on the end of it. But in terms of, you know, in terms of strong performances tonight, I think that's across the board. I think all eleven, all fourteen of the players who, you know, came on the pitch tonight were, um, you know, they were top draw. A one 0 victory in the end, perhaps could have been slightly, slightly more comfortable with perhaps a second goal from Mark Roberts, who seems to find himself in these positions quite regularly at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it should have been a goal. I'm not sure, too sure why it was disallowed. I'll have to see it. I've not, I've not watched it yet. But you know, we'll take the three points. The three points tonight is the most important thing. Just three defeats in the last nine games in the league. It's good form, and again, you continue to climb at the league table. Yeah, in terms of the three defeats in the, you know, in the last nine, it's pleasing. Of course, it is. We want to progress. We want to get up to the top half of the table, and we want to see where it takes us. But we'll take it one game at a time. You know, we won't get carried away with tonight. Just like we haven't got carried away when we were losing games. You know, we'll just continue to do our jobs. Work very, very hard on the training field. Look after the boys in terms of the recovery, and we'll go again on Saturday. Obviously, a club you, you come back here with, with a great connection for yourself personally, but good at the end to see that connection with the fans. Obviously, another fantastic away, away travelling support tonight. Well, all four sides of the ground were fantastic tonight. You know, I've got to pay a lot of respect to this football club. Club that gave me my chance in, in the game. I'll never ever forget that. Never ever. But our fans were superb tonight. I've got to say, you know, it, 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 it sounded like so many fans were in that opposite stand to where we were. They backed us to the hilt, and they have done. You know, for the majority of this season, they've absolutely backed us. But, uh, and you only get that back in when you put on honest, strong, you know, performances full of endeavour and quality. And we're starting to do that. And just finally, on a night of positives, prior to the game, the announcement of Leon Davis signing a three-year contract on his 17th birthday is, is fantastic news. It's a great night. Yeah, it's, it's a great night, capped off, you know, capped off obviously with the win. But along the way, throughout the day, you know, we've seen Leon sign his contract. You know, that's great. He's a 17-year-old he's a lad who we've got high hopes for. He fits the profile of a modern-day right back. You know, and we've um, fought long and hard to secure that that, that contract signing. So. Um, a massive, massive fair credit to the football club for enabling that to happen. Cheers.